Hey there, young tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of computers and their evolution through five generations, from those clunky, room-filling behemoths of the past to the sleek, powerful machines we have today, it's been quite a ride. We'll be exploring the groundbreaking technologies that fueled each generation, from vacuum tubes to transistors, integrated circuits, and microprocessors. Get ready to uncover the incredible shrinking computer. And finally, we'll take a peek into the future with the fifth generation and its focus on artificial intelligence. Fasten your seatbelts because we're about to embark on a wild journey through the history of computing. Let's get started. Picture this, it's the 1940s and the world's first computers are being built. These weren't your sleek laptops or smartphones, no sir. We're talking about massive machines that took up entire rooms powered by thousands of glowing vacuum tubes. These vacuum tubes, they were the real deal. Imagine a light bulb, but instead of just making light, it could control the flow of electricity to make calculations. The problem was, they generated a lot of heat and required a ton of energy. Keeping these early computers cool was a full-time job, and talk about slow. These first-generation computers could only perform a limited number of tasks, and they weren't exactly speedy about it. But hey, they were a start, right? A giant leap for computing. In the 1950s, a new kit arrived on the block, the transistor. These tiny semiconductors were about the size of a pea and could do everything a vacuum tube could do, but better. They used less power, generated less heat, and were much more reliable. With transistors, computers got smaller, faster, and more efficient. We're talking a serious upgrade. No longer were these machines relegated to universities and government labs. Businesses started to see the potential of these smaller, more affordable computers. The second generation of computers also saw the development of early programming languages making them more versatile. This was a crucial step towards making computers accessible to a wider range of people and paved the way for the software revolution to come. Chapter 3. Third Generation Integrated Circuits Size Does Matter Hold on to your hats because things are about to get even smaller. The 1960s ushered in the era of integrated circuits, also known as microchips. These tiny squares of silicon could hold thousands of transistors, resistors, and other electronic components all in one compact package. With integrated circuits, computers became smaller, faster, and more affordable than ever before. This miniaturization was a game-changer, making it possible to develop more powerful computers that could fit on a desktop. Can you imagine? The third generation also saw the rise of operating systems and the development of more sophisticated software. Computers were no longer just for crunching numbers, they were becoming tools for communication, creativity, and so much more. Chapter 4. Fourth Generation Microprocessors, The Personal Computer Revolution. Get ready for the grand entrance of the microprocessor in the 1970s. This tiny chip, holding the entire central processing unit of a computer, was like the brain on a single chip. It revolutionized the way we interact with technology. The invention of the microprocessor led to the development of personal computers, or PCs, making computers accessible to the masses for the first time. No longer were these powerful machines confined to research labs or giant corporations. Suddenly, people could have a computer in their homes, offices, and even classrooms. The fourth generation ushered in a new era of personal computing sparking a technological revolution that continues to this day. Chapter 5. Fifth Generation Artificial Intelligence. The future is now. Hold on tight, because the fifth generation of computers is all about artificial intelligence. We're talking about computers that can learn, reason and solve problems like humans. Imagine the possibilities. From self-driving cars to virtual assistants, AI is already transforming our world in incredible ways. These advancements are powered by sophisticated algorithms, massive data sets, and ever-increasing computing power. The fifth generation is about making computers smarter, more intuitive, and more capable than ever before. It's a future where computers can understand and respond to our needs in ways we never thought possible. The future of computing. What's next? And there you have it, the incredible journey of computers from the first to the fifth generation. From those room-sized behemoths to the powerful, pocket-sized devices we have today, it's been an amazing ride through the history of technology. But this is just the beginning. Who knows what incredible advancements the future holds? 
Will we have quantum computers that can solve problems in seconds? Will AI become even more integrated into our lives? One thing's for sure, the world of computing is constantly evolving, so keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop imagining the possibilities.